a map our staff will be uh, zooming in as well. And the passcode and the phone number are on the agenda. All right, I'm going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. If everyone would please rise. And so we begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Andy Baker is taking our notes for this evening. Would you establish a quorum of the council, Andy? Yes. Let me get to my spot here. Mayor Jones? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Doherty? Here. Uh, council Member Obeda Dunn? Here. Council Member Curran? Here. Council Member Hogan? Here. I think you're muted, Elaine. Oh, yeah. I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, what about now? Can you hear me now? We see that she is here. Yeah. Other security. What about now? Can you hear me now? No? This is a learning experience yeah. for all of us, so bear with us. Fortunately, our agenda is light this evening. So. I don't know why. <laughs> we'll work out the bugs. It says you're unmuted, but we're not hearing anything. Okay. Elaine, I can hear you. It's I don't know if it's oh. just the city council that can't hear us, but I can hear you. Oh, I can hear you I also. Hear I'm on okay. <laughs> okay. She's here. She's given us a thumbs up. She's here. Yeah. All right. I that means Item I two approval of the agenda. Um, is there anyone from the council that would like to change anything on the agenda? Anyone from public? Not seeing any hands there. We'll come back to council for a vote to approve the agenda as delivered. I have a motion made for the agenda as delivered. I'll second. Motion made by Summer Doherty, second by Chris Kira to approve the agenda as delivered. Any further discussion from council? Any further discussion from public? Back to council for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It passes unanimously. Elaine, do you want to give us a thumbs up if you're okay with that? Okay. <laughs> oh, very oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Item three is our public comment portion. The public is invited to present petitions make announcements or otherwise provide information to the city council that is relevant to the scope of authority of the city of Blue Lake that is not on the agenda. The council may provide up to 15 minutes for this public input session. To assure that each individual presentation is heard, the council may uniformly impose time limitations of three minutes to each individual presentation. The public will be given the opportunity to address items that are on the agenda at the time the council takes up that specific agenda item. Is there anyone in the public that would like to speak to the public yeah. comment yeah. section? Julie McGill. I would. Do you want me to do a plan? And yeah, thank you. Summer Doherty will be our time limit. And it looks like Jean, did you Hi, wish gals. to speak you your me? public comment? She yes. Mandy. Oh, I'm sorry, Julianne. Mandy, can Juliana, you hear me? Julianne, would you like to make a public comment, please? Um, yes, I'm unmuted. I don't think they can. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Sarah. Can you hear? They you guys can't, can't hear, hear us, anything. But Sarah put up a note that hopefully they can read and they'll fix it. Okay, can you can hear, hear me other. though. Thank yeah, you, Sarah. It seems hey, like I'm, I'm working on it. Here, hold on. I'm just chiming in on their audio. Adeline it's kind of hard to hear. Mandy sounds great. So I'm just really commenting on how the mic is assorted in the in the room right now. Um, Adeline's just a little hard to hear. Mandy, no, it's not seeing Mandy, it's hearing. I can hear you really well, but Adeline's just a little hard to hear is all I'm, is that, that's my only input. Okay. On the microphone though, should we select the and I'll, I'll leave it at that. This is Julie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's try. I'll relay mm -hmm. that, that to them, Julie, once they can hear us. 
that was it. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Oh. Hi, okay. Miss Jean. Oh, there yeah. we go. Okay. Great. Hi, Jean. Good to see you. Hi. That's no, fine. Um, I wanted to bring up, hello. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm starting the timer. Go ahead, Jean. Okay, I wanted to bring up to the uh, council um, an item on the um, truck route uh, under current agendas. Um, item five, uh, truck route. And that it's item nine on the truck route. And what I am bringing up, I understand Juliana has children in the room, so I'm not going to uh, completely read all of this. I'm, um, but this is a public document, and uh, it was from Mike Fogett, uh, SNH Engineering. It went through Mandy Maker. It's gone through the council. Uh, and there was a comment on, on the truck route by uh, Mike Fogett that the trucks and cars drive to F fast. I do not think that this is appropriate language for a city item and a public item. I think it's uh, irresponsible uh, for uh, an educated engineer that has dealt with uh, the public entity. I think it's irresponsible for the city manager and I think it's irresponsible for council members who have uh, the knowledge of this wording to let this stand as a public document for the city of Blue Lake. And I just, I, I wanna express my, my disappointment. Um, when I was on the council, I, I took the oath of civility and I took the oath of ethics. And I took that um, as my responsibility to, to participate and to take care of the, of the people uh, in the city of Blue Lake. And, and I just want to express uh, how disappointed I am uh, at this time in this junction uh, in public affairs that that wording should exist. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna say about it. I I'm, imagine my three minutes is up, but I, I would appreciate if the council would uh, look at that, uh, see if you could make amends for that item. Uh, and thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you for your time as well. And um, we'll take a look at that, thank you. Um, Juliana, did you want to call in? Her comment was about the sound, and um, she had said that it was difficult for Adeline to hear Adeline, but everyone can hear Mandy really well. I, I can hear personally, but that, that was her comment, and maybe it's been fixed now that you all fixed the sound. I'm not sure if it's still. Yeah, there. because I'm further away from the microphone, I'll try to... Uh, Promote my voice a little louder. Okay. All right, um, Juliana, would you like to make a public comment? No, Adeline, I hear you really good now. Thank you. It's a lot better. She's just in the waiting room. No. Do we have any other hands up? Okay, so she, that's what the only comment was that she couldn't hear me. Yeah. Okay. All right. As I see no other hands, uh, I'm going to move on to the next agenda item. Oh, wait, Lynn. Our next Lynn, agenda Lynn, item. Lynn, item Lynn, we can't hear us again. Is that Lynn, what you're saying, Elaine? We can't hear Lynn you had a comment. Okay. It's the speaker, so that's not going to work. Okay. Lynn, try unmuting yourself and see if um, they can hear you. Oh, Lynn, you're oh. muted. There we go. I clicked the wrong button and got off the screen altogether. And I can hear everybody fine. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just had one comment um, regarding. Uh, Lynn, can you speak up? We can't hear you very well. <laughs> um, regarding, I had a question. So I was uh, walking on the trail in the Powers Creek District today, and I came upon uh, one of the business owners, and they were down in the creek. Um, looking for something and they said that they were looking for something that was stolen from them last night. There was a break-in and it was the fifth break-in that they'd experienced in pretty recently. Um, and the, they were concerned because they didn't feel that the sheriff was really avail available and doing and, and the sheriff wasn't very concerned about the number of break-ins. Um, so 
Um, Lynn, can you hold on for just a moment? I'm sorry, we can't actually hear you very well. So just hold on for just a moment and okay. so work on our speakers on our end. Just a second. Looking for my microphone on your um, computer work better. Okay. That's what we're using. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get it to switch over to. Trying to get to switch over to the TV. Yeah, that would be that would be good. I don't know why. Yeah. It's not. Well, that has a microphone. microphone. Okay. But then let's see. Let's see. Do you hear a replay? Yes. Hello. Okay. All right. Lynn, can you give us a one, two, three test? One, two, three. Can you hear me very well? Oh, that's, that's much better. Okay. Go for it. I'm also closer, so maybe that's helping. We, we just figured out a few things on our end, so you might be okay now. Okay. Yeah, get as close as possible. This is it. All right, so uh, can you start again? Very sorry for that. Okay. I, I had a question, and I'm just going to preface it with saying I was um, on the trail in Powers Creek District today, and um, um, and someone I know who owns a business there was down in the creek looking for something, and they said that it was they're looking for um, items stolen from them last night uh, in a break-in, and that the break-in was one of five that experienced recently, and they were really concerned because they didn't feel the sheriff was responding. They didn't really see the sheriff around very much, and you know I've heard this before. Um, I also know that there's a lot of crime happening all throughout the county right now, um, so. Uh, I emailed the um, chair of our public safety commission and he said the city was taking some measures and there were some things that they were going to be doing. But my question was, um, as, as a form, former public safety commissioner, I know we have a contract with the sheriff and I'm wondering how many deputies we currently have assigned to Blue Lake and what the current uh, contract amount is, if you know, what we're paying every year now for sheriff services. Well, we, we can answer the question, I mean, we're paying, what is it, about 300,000? It's over 300 and, it's about 360,000. Um, we are at a deputy and a half right now. We're sharing a deputy with uh, Trinidad. Mm -hmm. okay. And there are times, they change them uh, intermittently, so it's not always the same hours because we don't actually have them like 24-7. So they do rotate their hours so that uh, people don't necessarily pick up on their hours and they can try and catch things at different times. But they do try and provide coverage during some of the um, potentially higher crime times. Mm -hmm. but you're right, it's hard to catch that sometimes. Yeah, um, so I, that was about the same as it was when I was on the Public Safety Commission five or six years ago. So, um, and I think when we had problems at intermittent times, but um, I don't know if anything could be done, particularly since um, we're talking now more with the new ozone about wanting more businesses to come in. I think that would be something maybe to take a look at. And I think the Public Safety Commission is doing something with this, the uh, patrol. I've forgotten what it's called. Um, but anyway, it just seems like a, a good awareness issue for the public. We agree, thank you. And it is unfortunate that the crime is happening. It's not just blue light, though. It's happening in every community, unfortunately. And we are on an extension with our sheriff, so we're going to be looking at our um, agreement with them and negotiating. So thank you for your comment. Thank you. Is there any other public comment on something not on the agenda? Okay. Don't see anyone. Uh, we are now on item four, closed session. I can tell Meg, are you trying to say something? Or did we miss that? 
No? Okay. You're okay. muted, so just yeah. checking. Okay, so we're on item four, the closed session announcement and agenda item. Um, conference with legal counsel, consider initiation of litigation for California Government Code section 54956.9D41 case. We need a motion to go into closed session. I motion we go into closed session. All second. Motion made by Summer Duarte, seconded by Chris Kieran to go into closed session. Any comments from council? Olivia, can you just elaborate a little bit on what that means that we're going into closed session? Only that we're going to go into closed session with legal counsel and the public can't have that. We can't talk about anything else in public. Okay. Yeah. So um, if it's a matter of litigation, you are allowed. Um, for government code that's specified here to go into closed session, which means that the public cannot hear what's going on. And then when you come out of closed session, you make a report as to what it is you've decided in closed session. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, no further comment from council. Does the public have any comment on this item? No, back to council for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Yay, we heard you, Elaine. <laughs> Opposed? It passes. We're in closed session. Okay, so. Yeah. And um, Madam Mayor, before we adjourn into closed session, perhaps we should give members of the public an estimate as to the time period. Uh, so uh, they'll know when to log back on to Zoom and, and actually participate in the remainder of your open session meeting. I'd estimate no more than 15 minutes for this wow. agenda item. Okay. I think it would be sufficient. Why don't we say 20 to be on the safe side? Okay. Is that pretty straightforward? Okay. Um, All right. So for the public, this is going to take about 20 minutes. So if you'd like to check back with us at around 710, that would probably be a good idea. Thank you for your cooperation. So that means in the meantime, we just need you to log off and then log or end your meeting, leave the meeting, and then come back at 7 10. I just walked away. I'm sorry. Did you tell us to log off? Yeah. Yes, and come back at 7 10. Okay. Good, sorry. Thank you, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, it looks like we're good to go. Russ, Russ do we? Yeah, okay. Should I turn off the recording? Yes. Yes. Yes, you can.